families that's been affected by a wrongful death. Oh, hi, detective! It didn't turn out quite the way you wanted it to, did it? Oh well, we're not next time. Go ahead. I'll have your badge and your ass. So you think that's it, huh? Just like that, you get off. That's all she wrote, babe. I like that jacket. It's off the rack. It's sporty. It's not over. You just keep that smile on your face when I'm putting you in handcuffs. Is that a threat detective? I'm just doing my job. Case closed. How much is he paying? Enough. That detective's gonna be a fucking problem. Why do you say that? Because he's at my hearing. He's at every one of my fucking hearings. Well, this case is closed. There's nothing more he can do. You just have to keep your nose clean. What do you mean by that? I don't care about a $45,000 a year cop. No disrespect, but if you kept your buildings up, we wouldn't have these problems. If we didn't have these problems, we wouldn't need you. I'm just saying, we almost lost this case. People died. You should just do your job. Enjoy your money, okay? Shut the fuck up! You all right? I should have put a bullet in his ass when I had the chance. <laughs> we cops, remember? Innocent until proven guilty. Come on, you believe that? Because of him, people died, and he knew it. He knew it. He murdered people, and he gets off. You call that justice? I call that the law. All right, we bring the motherfuckers in, and we let the courts handle the rest of the shit. Fuck that. It's not fuck that. All right? Remember, we took an oath when we became cops? We do what's right. For some reason, you taking this shit fucking personal. It's not just him. It's people like him, the privileged, the ones that get away with all kinds of evil shit and nothing ever seems to happen. And this time, it's literally murder. I don't understand this, man. I don't understand why you taking this shit personally. I mean, you are at every court date involving this man and this case. I mean, this case was over when we arrested the guy. It's his snugness, his cockiness that makes me sick. It's like he doesn't even give a shit that people died in that fire. So now what? He goes on about living his life while we wait on the next building to catch fire? Fuck that, it's not gonna happen. What you mean by that, man? Nothing. Don't even worry about it. Listen, you my partner and you my friend. You my best damn friend. But I'm gonna tell you like this, man. If you plan on doing something to this man because you don't like the way this case turned out, all right? You're the one that's gonna be guilty of murder and taking the law into your own hands. So what are you gonna do? Arrest me? Yep. Really? You would put handcuffs on me? Your partner? You know the thought of that just makes me wanna put a bullet in you. What? Put a bullet? Are you serious? Who are you right now, man? Do you hear yourself put a bullet in me? You're the one that just said you would arrest me. You know what? It doesn't even matter. Pull over and let me the fuck out. Man, we, we, we're driving and shit. Man, it, it, pull over and let me out. Fine. You want to, all right. Let me do that. You're making no fucking sense right now. All right? You're getting this fucking man over this guy in this goddamn case. What the fuck is wrong with you? Really? I'd rather walk, partner. All of this? Over the over this case? Over this Shit, Dad, you scared me. 
Why? You have reasons to be scared, son? Me? Fuck no. You just barged in here, though. Well, if I remember correctly, I bought you this house. So technically, it's my house. Well, don't mind the housekeeper in your house, Dad. You know, your great-grandfather, along with my father, built this real estate company from the ground up. And we're... All right, you know what? I don't need to hear this. I can repeat the story for you word for word if you'd like. You know, the trouble with you is you're spoiled. I spoiled you. I got you everything you ever wanted, even things you didn't want. I just went out and got Here we go again, okay? You know what? I'm not a damn kid anymore. Sit your five dollar ass down before I make change. I am still the head of this family, and you will respect that. I had hoped that you'd take over this business for me after I retire. But you wanted to go off and do your own thing, so I let you. You know what I think this is about? I think it's about the money, right? And my success, because I'm bigger than you now and our dad. Is that right? You bigger than me. <laughs> you bigger than me. You know, just because you get your name in the news every other week over some stupid ass bullshit, that don't make you bigger than me. That just makes you louder. You're like a pimp in a pink suit at a funeral. You just want everybody to notice you. So did you come all this way to, uh, just insult me? No. To advise you. You got off lucky with involuntary manslaughter. But it cost, son. It cost a lot. That judge did not come easy or cheap. But it cost, son. It's not like we don't have the money, right? That's not the point, son. You're supposed to knock down those buildings, make room for a mall or something. Not fix them up just enough to pass inspection and move people into them. Like you give a shit about anybody but yourself. All you care about is your money and your power. Suddenly, the great Mike Miller Sr. grows a heart for the poor. It's tragic. Give me a break. What's the real reason you're here, Dad? Okay, I can see there's no talking to you. So I'll just cut to the chase. The family name. I didn't bust my ass my whole life to build it up just to have some snot-nosed, punk-ass, rich punk tear down everything I ever built, even if it is my own son. So here's the deal. You got 30 days to get these buildings in tip-top shape or I will shut you down myself. And if I have to come back here and have this discussion again, I won't be so fucking pleasant. I'll see myself out. I'm gonna go have a dip in your fucking hole then. Huh?
Yeah, right? Yeah. Look, I just walked into my hotel room and it, the door was open and somebody busted in, threw my shit everywhere, and all my money is fucking gone. I don't know what to tell you. We're not responsible for lost or stolen items. You saw that on the sign when you registered. I don't give a shit about no fucking sign when I registered. How am I supposed to live? I don't care. I don't know. You don't care? <laughs> it's not my problem. It's not your problem? Don't you have some, some, I don't know, maybe cameras, fucking security patrolling around this area, a way to protect people? I need people? you to stop yelling at me before I call the police. Go ahead, call him. I need to report this bullshit. Look, what am I supposed to do? If you don't have the money by tomorrow, then check out at 11 o'clock. I don't know what to tell you. It's not my problem. I'm lost prevention. I'm just here to get the merchandise back. I don't have anything. Then why are you running? Look, it's been a long couple of fucking days and I didn't know why you were chasing me. I was just hungry. I'm sorry, I grabbed it and I couldn't, I left it in the store. You, you ran. Look, look I grabbed it and I was just hungry. I didn't take it though. I left it in the store. I saw you take it. I don't have it, look. I don't have anything. You ran from an undercover prevention officer. Look, Please, it's been. Lady. Jesus, you called the. You called the cops? Jesus, you called the cops? Here we go, here we go. Look. Hey, freeze, the, lady. Look, I didn't mean to hurt anybody. I just. It's I, okay. It's okay. Now we can do this two ways. You can come with me peacefully and get in the car, or I can haul your ass down to the police station. Take her to jail. No, take her to jail. I didn't do anything. That's right. There we go. Bye. Bye. I didn't Bye. do anything. Shut the fuck up and get back to work. Bullshit. This always happens. I see you have a hell of a record. You're not as nice as you seem, Miss Lady. You tried to leave your stink behind you in Chicago, huh? And then you brought your stink here to my city. Was that the plan? I don't have a plan. There is no plan. So, you have me here. Now what? Are you going to arrest me? Just because you're in a police station doesn't mean you're under arrest. I was pretty impressed with the way you handled yourself. That was a hell of a punch. I didn't know who grabbed me. And besides, I didn't actually steal anything. <sighs> Look, if you're going to arrest me, just do it already and Shush. stop with this. Where are you staying? I was staying at the Shady Inn. Jesus, I should have known from the name. My hotel room got broken into, all my stuff got stolen, and that's why you caught me stealing from that store. Okay, we're gonna find you another safe place to stay for the time being. For the time being? Until we can find you a job and get you back on your feet. <laughs> well, what is this? 
find me a job? You think I'm some kind of charity case? Look, I don't need your help. I, you don't even know me. Look, because of you, I got an idea. Now, you can be patient and work with me and legitimately make some money. Or I can book your ass right now for assault and battery and be done with you. I'll give you 20 seconds to think about it. I'm in. Excuse me? I said, I'm in. <laughs> I knew you would be. I'll be in touch. Go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Forgot your line like I a did. Line. <laughs> What's my line? <laughs> I had hoped you'd take over this country. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Emperor Mike. <laughs> we took an oath when we became cops, remember? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's Rich. It's great Mike Senior. Something in the front of me trying to make But I'm gonna come down on your ass worse than a worse than a worse. Worse than a worse. Worse than a worse. You <laughs> <laughs> should do it again. But I'm gonna come down on you worse than a god himself. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> of murder and you're the one who was taking innocence in in the shit in the fucking damn it man we were fu we were rolling on it <laughs> well, if I remember correctly this is my house Fuck. sorry <laughs> you get in the car or I can haul your ass down to the pavement to the pavement <laughs> to the what? Shit, the pavings. Okay. Oh, fuck. Dude, I'm pull over! <laughs> <laughs> ah, my nigga went dead as hell on it, this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, Oh, that shit was funny as fuck. <laughs> he went Denzel on the motherfucker. <laughs> Didn't turn out quite the way he wanted it to, did it? Well, better luck next time. <laughs> Go ahead. We're done. Yep, cut. <laughs> I should have put a bullet in his ass when I had the chance. <laughs> you sound like, you sound like a, you sound like a rapper right there. Oh, okay. you sound like you rapping. Here we go, ready? <laughs> Put a bullet in his ass when I had the chance. And I wanna, those of you who have not done guerrilla film work ever, you're welcome. In, you're in for Thank three. you. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you. Thank you for <laughs> oh, no yeah. cut, baby. That's what I get for coming out on a Sunday. You know, there's not even real scotch in here. Can you believe that? It's for you, brother. I think we're rolling. Oh, you're rolling. Nice.
action. What the f <laughs> he put action. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> This is Councilman Reynolds. I asked for a man. You bring me this? <laughs> Fred, I'm gonna fuck the shit out of that. Just One more time, because you called him Fred. <laughs> <laughs> you did good, Fred. I told you I'd come through. I'll call you Fred. <laughs> Action. Ted, you know I'm gay. <laughs> Uh, one more time, don't pay attention to I say oh. cut. Don't say cut. One okay. more time. So, which one of you guys want? <laughs> That's okay. <laughs>